Shay Poor. I am the department head of the Animal and Equine Science Program, and I'm also a faculty member in the equine science area. So when I took over this program, my goal was not only to expand the appearances that we could get with the horse and the rider, but also to teach the students what it is to put on this kind of an event. Because it is an event, having to get everything ready, get the horse ready, go out, be in the public. The team that helps support the jockey has to understand safety and understand people behavior because the people are going to come running up to that horse from all directions because they don't understand, you know, what the horse can do. And I wanted to teach the students how to better manage that kind of a situation. A lot of them are going to be in Ball, you know, involved with horses as they go on with their careers, and those horses are going to be around people. They're going to have to advertise themselves, promote themselves in order to get a job or make that sale, whatever that may be. And so I saw this as an opportunity to work with students that wanted to take that step outside their comfort zone, get up on, on a horse, be around a horse, even if they knew ne next to nothing about them, and then end up in front of thousands of people running around a track at a football game on a horse that's an animal that can get scared pretty easily, but make it all look good and make it all come together. And it's been a blast. I've really enjoyed that the last couple of years. We start out this time of year with the jockey, so this year Emily, returning to get the horse ready. And so she'll be working him on a daily basis to get him fit and make sure that he remembers how to behave. Like she said, he does like to be in your pocket, which means he tends to like to be right up in your space, which can be kind of scary and intimidating. So we work with him to get him ready. He's smart. He knows what this mask means. He knows what this tack means. And he knows it means an event. He hopes it's the football game. But about three hours before a game, we'll show up here. We'll get him up. We'll work him a little bit just to take the edge off. We'll give him a bath, make sure he's clean. We'll get him wrapped up and, and dressed up. And then we load, load everything onto the trailer. Sometimes we go to the alumni tailgate first and we visit with the alumni there and take some pictures. She'll walk him through the parking lot over to the north end zone where we hang out and do more pictures and photos. We'll walk around the track to let him see all the stuff and all the activity. Remember what the wires are that are on the track that he's got to go over, see the big blow up tunnel so that he knows that that's there. And then we'll put her up on him and she'll work him lightly around all the people in the activity. Then we hang out and we wait for the pregame run and the band does their thing. And when they play the fight song, we get to do the pregame run. And then she's on until halftime, just in case we get a touchdown, she's ready to go. When the touchdown happens, the team breaks out and they run to their stations. And we've discussed that ahead of time where they can help make sure that the track is clear so that nobody gets in front of the horse and nobody startles the horse. So we don't want anybody to get hurt and we don't want him to spook and run off the track. That would be bad. When it's done, we all go back and hang out in the north end zone waiting for the next touchdown. At halftime, we take his set tack off and give him a break for about 10, 15 minutes, let him drink some water, eat some hay, rest. And then second half, she's back up for the whole half until we're done with the end of the game. And then we pack up and head home with hopefully a victory under our belts. So most of the, the horses that I'm familiar with have been either donated or bought for our program. And then when we needed a racer one, we're looking for a horse that is willing to be in front of a lot of activity and commotion, loud noises. Uh, those can be frightening for horses. So we've got to have one that's pretty calm about that. And one that looks forward to the excitement of the crowd. We need one that's personable where he'll be willing to stand and take pictures and be friendly with people. Sometimes this guy goes to sleep on us and we have to wake him up, but he's really, really good for that. So we'll be looking for that kind of a horse. Well, this year or last year was the first year that we needed a racer one. We wanted a gray. We had one on the farm and he was all that we needed. And Vegas was born and bred here at Murray State. He's nine years old this year. Uh, we were laughing this morning because we weighed him and uh, he weighs in at 1,300 pounds right now. He did put on a little bit of COVID-19 weight this year. We are going to have to work that off of him. But uh, he's coming back into his training really, really well. And we are very hopeful that we get to see a football season this year and get to run at some of the games. So nothing has really changed on how we're going to manage the horse. Luckily, horses can't get COVID, at least not the strain that's running around. And so we just make sure that we have hand sanitizer for the people that will approach him. They will, hand it, they will sanitize themselves first, and then they can come up and pet on him and get their pictures. That way, if they happen to have COVID on them, they don't put it on the horse, and then the next person picks it up. That's really about the only change that we're making is we're, we're limiting and cueing the people that want to come and take pictures so they can't crowd around him quite as much. But we're still looking forward to being out there for photos and our training and everything else that we do is pretty much going to be on track. Absolutely. I think it was amazing to me when I started getting out there with Racer One and realized how many people actually didn't know who Racer One was. And that made me sad. 
So we have worked at getting him out to events where we have, you know, the fourth graders come on campus and he'll be a stop on a scavenger hunt. You know, they have to find him and take a selfie with Racer One is one of their objectives. We will be there to meet and greet with all the students that are coming in with the community. We have sponsor days where the sponsors can come out and get pictures. We're trying to, to get out there to showcase not only our horse and our students, but the whole program that we have here at Murray State. Most people know that Murray State is here, but they don't necessarily know what we do and what we're about. And it has been a pleasure to be able to get out there and just see the excitement on their face when they see a horse. And then they can come over and meet with him and get their pictures taken. And it's a lot of fun.